Welcome guys, I am Laura Wilson, and you are watching Car Focus on Jexton Electric. In this edition, I'm going to review the Tesla Model S Plaid. Click subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss out on our next edition. The Model S Plaid is a high-performance family electric car, and it's insanely fast. The car comes with three electric motors. It generates an impressive 1,020 horsepower, allowing it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.99 seconds, as stated by Tesla. With a quarter-mile time of 9.23 seconds, it boasts a top speed of 200 miles per hour and a range of up to 360 miles on a single charge. Let's look at styling, beginning with the front. You'll immediately notice its elegant and attractive design, featuring matrix LED headlights, daytime running lights, and dual lenses. Additionally, there's the distinctive V-shaped design that surrounds the Tesla logo. Moving to the lower section of the front bumper, a large central air inlet is featured, accompanied by fog lights on both sides and additional air intakes to improve aerodynamics. Overall, the front presents a wider appearance compared to the previous model. Model, allowing for the accommodation of broader tires. Looking at the side profile, the Model S Plaid is a large full-size sedan. It features black accents around the window trim instead of the traditional chrome, and the door handles share the same black finish. This new Model S has Tesla's new hardware four cameras. This one on the front fender works as both a turn signal and reverse light. Here we have the B-pillar camera. On the windshield, we have more cameras. Since Tesla is switching completely to their vision system, these cameras enhanced autopilot and self-driving beta capabilities. On the wheels, the front and rear wheels are equipped with 21-inch Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. To fully experience the power and performance of the Model S Plaid, it's essential to prepare its tires for the track, which involves substantial carbon ceramic brakes and forged aluminum wheels. For the prices, the base dual-motor all-wheel drive Model S is priced at $74,990 while the tri-motor Model S Plaid is priced at $89,990. As we shift our focus to the rear of the car, you can see how much bigger it looks compared to the previous generation. The rear fenders are noticeably wider, giving the car a more muscular stance. The taillights are fully LED, accompanied by reverse lights integrated into the redesigned rear diffuser. Tesla decided to remove the T logo and instead spell out Tesla in letters across the lower back. Below that is the rear camera and two LED lights. Then we have this beautiful carbon fiber spoiler, which fits the car perfectly. But the standout feature here is this plaid batch, which is inspired by the movie Spaceballs. The Model S can now tow up to 1.6 tons, which is great news for anyone needing to haul heavy loads. To open the trunk, you can use the button located below it, or open it from the screen inside the car. The trunk comes with a magnetized and removable cargo cover. You get 709 liters of storage space back here, without folding the rear seats. Interestingly, most of the floor is removable, revealing additional cargo storage underneath and side spaces. Folding the seats is easy, just press the two buttons and push the seats to fold down. When the seats are folded down, you get a total of 1,739 liters of space, which is about twice the volume of a large refrigerator. To close the trunk, you can use the power tailgate, the key fob, or simply press the button on the screen inside the car. Let's take a look at the front. It provides 89 liters of storage space, which is perfect for storing groceries or small suitcases. It's a great way to showcase the fact that the car doesn't have a traditional gas engine. Just pop open the front and load up your items. Let's take a look at the interior. You can open the door using a key card or key fob. If not, simply press down on the handle to extend it, then insert your hand and pull it open like a normal car door. Once inside, you'll find a very clean, elegant, and beautiful interior with comfortable seats made of sustainable materials that are soft and cozy. The rear seats provide a comfortable amount of headroom and legroom. Unlike many high-performance four-door cars that have two seats in the front and two in the back, this one has three seats. The middle seat has a seat belt like the other seats. 
so there are a total of five seats in the plaid. If you want a center armrest, you have that option too. Simply drop the middle seat to reveal two cup holders, a storage area, and a nice armrest for added comfort in the back. The coolest thing back here is this rear screen. Children and rear passengers can control their climate, heat their seats, listen to music, as well as watch movies on Netflix and YouTube. Right below the screen, there are two USB-C ports for charging their gadgets. Let's check out the front. The doors are made up of soft materials all around. We have carbon fiber and fabric insert to give it that premium look. Here's a button to open the door from inside. Then we've got window controls and a manual door opener. There is space for water bottles. And lastly, we have a door speaker. The front seats have standard adjustment options and lumbar support in the driver and front passenger seats. They are designed to be very soft and comfortable, equipped with heating and perforation for ventilation, ensuring a cool and pleasant experience for your back and legs. The interior of the Model S Plaid is wrapped all around with high-quality materials and carbon fiber, signifying comfort and luxury. The talking point in this car is this futuristic yoke steering wheel, though Tesla now offer a round steering wheel, giving you options when ordering. Then, of course, this massive 17-inch touchscreen which comes with fast and very high performance with good graphics. The Model S, like all Teslas, have an interior camera mounted here on this rear-view mirror. Taking a look at the center console, we have a wireless phone charger that charges your phone wirelessly. This sliding tray reveals two cup holders and additional storage space, making the center console spacious and airy. It also contains two USB-C ports to charge your gadgets. Here, we have an armrest that opens to reveal more extra storage. The instrument cluster display is one of the best features of the Model S as far as the driver is concerned. The yoke steering wheel seems to have been designed to give a clear view of the instrument cluster. It provides relevant driving information to the driver, such as speed, autopilot visualization, next navigation step, and more. We have plenty of speakers in this car, a total of 22 speakers. Let's take a look at the yoke steering wheel. This steering wheel breaks away from tradition by eliminating stocks. Instead, all the controls for blinkers, headlights, windshield wipers, as well as the horn are all integrated into touch-sensitive buttons around the yoke. The left scroll wheel is dedicated to media controls, while the right scroll wheel is for autopilot functions. This innovative design has sparked both praise and controversy. Let's look at the main screen. This screen controls everything from your speedometer, drive modes, to climate controls. It's powered by the latest AMD Ryzen CPU, the same CPU used in the PlayStation 5. This means it's super quick to respond and easy to use. The Model S is a very fast car. It has three acceleration modes to choose from, chill, sport, and the fastest plaid. What's really cool about this screen is its ability to tilt. Depending on who needs to see it, you can tilt it towards the driver, tilt it towards the passenger, or leave it right in the middle. Like all Teslas, the Model S comes with several entertainment options, such as Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, and Hulu, among others. As for music, you can listen on Spotify and Apple Music. But that's not all about the fun. You can play games too. Tesla has integrated Steam games into the Model X and Model S, making them some of the most fun cars to drive. With a PlayStation controller, you can play thousands of Steam games by purchasing verified games you love from Steam. Premium connectivity is necessary for all this. Do not worry even a little because as long as the car is moving, drivers cannot access these distractions. Okay guys, let me walk you through how to use and how to drive your Tesla Model S Plaid, please pay attention. If you want to get into your car, and the door handle is retracted, press it and it will present so you can get inside. When you want to get out, press this button with your thumb. Your car is compatible with three different types of keys. Phone key, which turns your phone into a car key. Key fobs and backup key cards, which you should keep with you when using phone key. To set up phone key, make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on. Open the Tesla app and then follow the prompt. 
Once set up, as long as you have your phone with you, your car will unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal and lock as you walk away. Phone key wirelessly communicates with your car over Bluetooth, so even when you're without cellular connectivity, your phone will function as the key. Open the Tesla app to manually manage locks and to control your trunks and charge port over Bluetooth. This is an addition to the span of other app controls that use the internet connections of your phone and your car. When using phone key, you should always keep one of the backup key cards with you wherever you keep your driver's license. This way you have another option in case your phone dies or you choose to hand your car to a valet. To unlock your car using the key card, press it against the driver's side door pillar below the camera. Do the same to lock the car. To power on your car so you can drive using the backup key card, place it on one of your wireless phone chargers and press the brake. These icons flash and your drive mode appears on your instrument cluster, indicating that your your car is ready to drive. If you prefer, you have the option to pair key fobs for using as alternatives to phone key. As with phone key, when a key fob is on you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal and lock as you walk away. If you choose to use a fob, you'll just keep it in your purse or pocket most of the time. Tesla has also hidden some buttons inside the fob. Double press on the rear to open or close your lift gate. Press here once to stop your lift gate while it's moving. You can also press and hold here to open or unlatch your charge port. Press twice on the windshield area to pop open your front trunk. The hood is made of aluminum, so it's much lighter than those of traditional cars. To close it, set it down gently and then lean into it with your palms on each side of the latch. The locks button is on the roof of the key. A single press locks your car and a double press unlocks it. To pair a key fob for use with your car, tab controls, locks and then here to add a new key. Follow the prompts on the screen. You'll need one of your backup key cards to complete the process. You can manage any of your phone keys, key fobs, or backup key cards from this menu. Click here or swipe here to open your controls menu, which provides quick access to the functions you'll use the most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the yoke steering wheel, select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings are also saved to your driver profile, ensuring that your car remains exactly as you like it, even if you are not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key or key fob and your car will automatically adjust to you as you approach it. To drive, simply buckle up in the car with your phone key, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touch screen, swipe down for reverse, and up for drive, Tap here to manually put it in park, otherwise your car will put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. You can get out of your car once it is in park, your car will turn off once you exit and close the doors. If you'd like your car to automatically shift itself out of park, go to controls, pedals and steering and then enable auto shift out of park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your car will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction shows on the instrument cluster. Confirm this is the direction you want and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touchscreen to select a different direction. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these controls on the left side of the yoke. Press firmly to turn on your signal. It will turn off automatically once your car detects that you have completed a maneuver, such as taking a turn, changing lanes, or taking an exit. You can also disengage the signal by pressing either turn signal control. Press here to flash your high beam headlights and reveal light settings on the touchscreen. Press and hold to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, tap here to disable auto high beam. Honk your horn by pressing firmly here on the right side of the yoke. Press here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. Press and hold on the wiper control and spray the windshield.
Your car has regenerative braking, which means that as you lift your foot off the accelerator, it will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. It may take a few drives to get used to, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making driving easier. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your car will also apply the traditional brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This allows for stop-and-go driving using only the accelerator pedal. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. To charge, point the connector at your charging port and press here to open it or press on the charge port door itself. This Tesla T glows white when your car is ready to charge. Plug in the connector firmly and the T will pulse green when charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button, then remove the connector when the T turns white. Your charge port door will automatically close. More information can be found in your on-screen owner's manual. Open the controls menu and select service, owner's manual, and then search for any topic. That's it for today, guys. You can now support us using the super thanks feature on the bottom of this video. Consider becoming a member of our EV club. For a small monthly membership fee, you'll gain access to exclusive content just for members. Simply click the join button below to become a member. We will be back again for more car focus. In the meantime, subscribe. Goodbye.